5 Serious Reasons Why Your Dog Keeps Throwing Up In this video, I am going to reveal 5 serious reasons why your dog keeps throwing up. So are you ready to solve the mystery behind this constant throwing up of your dog with me? I can feel the pain of seeing your faithful friend in such a terrible condition, draining all its energy and liveliness. Aha! How heartbreaking it is, helplessly watching out your dog while it is fighting all alone against its tummy rebellion. You have all good reasons to be aware of what is wrong going on within your dog's tummy because throwing up is not only painful but also messy and can make your dog feel even sicker. Have you ever thought, what if you succeed in figuring out your dog's exact problem? You can free your friend from the long-term effect of vomiting. Because though that vigorous incident comes to an end in a matter of minutes, your dog stays under its influence for hours and, in fact, for days. And yes, identifying the reason behind throw-ups will ultimately help you to be the superhero or heroine of your pet. Not only by saving its life, but by taking the most effective precautionary moves. Remember? The unseen part of the movie when a leading character takes smart moves, but somehow the director reveals it as a flashback memory of the leading role, leaving the audience in awe. This time, you will feel the same moment of pride and will become a hero in the eyes of your dog. By the way, pardon me for not telling you before, watching the video till the end will give you a magical tip to eliminate the restlessness and anxiety in dogs after vomiting. Now without making you wait more, I will move straight away to the reasons and a secret dog-friendly sedative so your dog sleeps soundly next time. Before that, just take a second to click the bell icon to subscribe to our channel to get more valuable updates. There are several reasons your dog keeps throwing up. Some reasons are general and have no potential harm. However, some can be really a villain to your dog's life. Such devastating reasons are usually chronic and acute illnesses. And vomiting is one of the alarming signs expressing the intensity or duration of such conditions. Reason number one, middle ear problem. The middle ear problem is one of the chronic conditions. Shocked? I was too. But on research, I got to know that I would like to share with you guys. If you are a pet parent of dogs who have long ears, Nah, not like Rapunzel's hair. It is just comparatively longer than its other community member. Or if your dog got a thick hairy ear, there is a chance to get stuck in this problem. In this condition, the membrane that works as a divider between the external and middle ear gets ruptured. This allows any uninvited evil microbe to invade the internal ear territory, giving them a free hand to do whatever they want. Whatever these microbe invaders do, it makes your dog vomit. You can also inspect other coexisting signs just to ensure if it's the ear that makes your dog vomit. Redness, swelling, frequent itching of ears, and constantly shaking heads like making them appear crazy to show the possibility of a middle ear problem. On number two, we have parvovirus. Being an experienced pet owner, you definitely know what the hell this virus is. But just in case you are a new parent or you are just doing your homework for the newly won job of dog sitting, let me explain it quickly. Parvovirus is easy to transmit viral infection. It can quickly get into other healthy dogs' bodies from infected ones' physical contact or through the carrier feces of infected dogs. So if your neighbor's bitch is not well, Make sure your dog won't give her a visit that's sick. Nevertheless, the situation is not as bad as you think. There are proper vaccinations to shield your dogs from this brutal parvovirus. You simply need to consult your vet, especially if you have an infant pup. The third reason is what we underestimate the most. Heat stroke. No matter how much your dog loves to play outside or is fond of grazing grass, you need to curb their favorite activities till the heat wave gets over. Heat stroke can prove itself deadly if not taken seriously. If your dog vomits in summer, most probably it's heat that has interfered with its body temperature. To avoid such mishaps, 
simply engage your dog with indoor fun activities. Think out of the box and go for it. No, I am not asking you to build a snowman inside the home arranging some snow. You just need to keep a close eye on your dog's faves so you can entice it with its favorite stuff. Adding to it, we should admit we make mistakes to keep our dogs in parked cars. As soon as we park our cars, the heat accumulates enough to cause your dog to die inside. Do this with criminals, not with your pet. The fourth fatal reason behind a dog throw up is bloating. In bloating, the dog's stomach is packed with air and twisted, leaving no room for food to enter and lower extremity blood to run back to the heart. Both of these are a deadly combination that needs emergency treatment. Unfortunately, there is no cure for it. All you can do is taking a few precautionary steps. Avoid giving food in elevated, deep bowls. Your dog doesn't need six packs to get his mate. Give it food at least two meals a day. On a serious note, male dogs are more prone to bloating than female dogs. Tell your dog it won't get an Oscar on eating a meal quickly and before his other friends. If this is the case, separate them in mealtime so they do not have a chance to compete with each other. However, if your dog is habitual of eating fast, give it food in chunks to reduce the speed. The tall height and deep chest not only bring good looks in dogs, but also chances of bloating. So be careful if you have such a charming dog. Also, dogs with a family history of bloating are in the red zone. The last and fifth most common and general cause is eating habits. Just like we are what we eat, dogs are what they eat. If they eat what is meant for them, they will be healthy dogs. But if they eat what is not for them, their life is at stake. Swallowing any poisonous material, or even food they are allergic to, can put a full stop to their beautiful life. Chocolate is one of those edibles. Yes, this mood-lifting heavenly food is poison for your dog. The bitter the chocolate is, the more poisonous it is. Only for dogs, ha! <laughs> Theobromine and caffeine are two substances that are indigestible and can make your dog sick to death. Alas! You cannot share your chocolate cake with your best buddy. When talking about food, how greens can be missed. Greens are good for us and for our dogs as well. Yes, dogs eat grass when they feel their tummy is tired of carrying feces for too long. To make their tummy happy again, they eat grass that helps them to throw. This time, to throw down, not up. However, too much grazing can result in throw-up also. The color of vomit, in this case, will naturally be green. So if you find your dog eating a lot of grass, it is a sign your dog's GI tract needs a doctor to see. And here is the best tip I believe is not less than magic. Calming your dog after such an aggressive, unpleasant, unwanted incident. And that is catnip. Unlike its name, it not only works for cats, but also for their opponents, dogs. Adding 12 to 15 drops of catnip tincture in 1 to 1 and a half ounces in your dog's filtered water will relax them. Give this soothing water at least 3 to 4 times a day. This herb not only relaxes your dog, but will heal the inflammation that we call swelling, especially of the gut. That is all for now. I hope this will help you to evaluate your dog's condition more than before. To get more valuable information, click now on the bell icon and subscribe so you remain updated with our latest videos. Till then, play safe with your dog!